Today, we're gonna install the Pulsar in my 2019 Ram 1500. What's up guys? So today, I got some more Ram content for you guys. We're going to install this new Pulsar inline performance module in my 2019 Ram 1500. Um, this is, I've got about 5,000 miles on the truck now. Everything's good, I have no complaints. It's been running and driving flawlessly. Um, sorry I haven't um, updated you guys on anything. I really haven't done anything since my last uh, video, which I think would have been the wheel spacer video. Um, I've been doing a lot of snowmobiling. It is winter here in Michigan, so um, the weather's been very cold. Um, snow, obviously, but uh, yeah, so I apologize for not uploading uh, much RAM content, but I did just pick up this Pulsar, and I wanted to do a review on it for you guys. Um, this video is actually going to be an install video. I will update you guys with a review video uh, probably next later in the week. Um, I am going to go through all the different modes it offers and do a review on it and basically see if it's worth it. Um, I know retail on it's like 500 bucks. I'll leave a link in the description below on where you guys can uh, pick this up at. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do an install video today and then I'll go through all the modes and whatnot and show you guys what it's all about and then I'll also do uh, an update video to follow, like I said, later in the week and we'll go through all the different modes um, which are coming up next. So as you can see here, the Pulsar features um, adjustable power levels with cruise control buttons and I'll explain how that works here in a second. Um, on the fly adjustable power levels so you don't have to program the vehicle or use a special uh, programmer to change your settings, it's all on the fly. Um, improves fuel economy, there's a fuel economy tune. Increases performance and towing capabilities, there's a towing um, option as well. Um, multiple performance levels, power level displayed on OEM dash, adds up to 30 horsepower and 30 foot-pounds of torque. Um, advanced ignition timing, user selectable MDS on and off, so if you don't like it going down into four cylinder mode, you can, uh, you can turn that off. Um, it adjusts the accelerator pedal response, so it's more snappy, and connects directly into your vehicle's computer system, which your PCM, which is located right here. And I'm going to show you guys right now how to install this on your 2019 Ram 1500. So I'm going to go ahead and open the box up and show you guys what all comes in the package here. So right here looks like we have the module itself. We've got more packaging. Here's the different power levels and some warning messages. Here's the longer uh, bolts to um, piggyback it to the PCM that's in the truck. I'll, I'll show you guys how all this works here in a second. And then the user manual. This here is a cool product that Diablo Sport uh, implemented for the new 2019 Rams. Um, what's cool about it is it's just a piggyback, basically a piggyback PCM that plugs into the back of the stock PCM on the truck and then you plug your connectors into this. So basically these go into the back of the PCM and then your connectors now plug into this. So it's basically just like a bypass or a piggyback rather um, instead of an actual full, you know, a, a full aftermarket PCM or, um, you know, no modification or tuning necessary to your stock PCM. So as far as voiding warranties and all that, it will not void a warranty just because you won't be messing with the factory PCM. You're literally just putting, um, basically, it's kind of like a taser that I run in the Hellcat and I had in my scat pack, um, but it's just directly put into the stock PCM. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on the install now. Before you get started, first things first, you wanna make sure um, the battery is disconnected. So go ahead and undo the negative side on your battery, the negative terminal and uh, make sure there's no power running to the vehicle because you do not want to unplug these with the battery connected. So make sure you unplug your battery. Just so you guys know, this is a 10 millimeter nut on the negative terminal. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off now. So 
the next step is to pop these red buckles up on both sides and the plugs will come right off the back of the PCM. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So for the next step, you want to take an 8mm socket and take out the two bolts here that hold the PCM in. I just wanted to point something out for you guys. That bottom left uh, screw or bolt rather um, is very hard to get out, especially because the wiring harness is in the way. So that one there will take some extra time. Also make sure you hold the PCM with your hand uh, before you take all the uh, screws out so that it doesn't just fall down into the engine bay of the truck. So next you wanna align the pulsar up with the plugs on the back of the PCM, just like so and make sure that the left side of the pulsar and the left side of the PCM match up because you want your holes to line up for the bolts to go through to uh, connect it back to the truck. And then obviously on the right side there's just one, on the left side there's two. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that on there like that. Go ahead and push it down and then as you can see here it is completely flush with the PCM all the way around here and that part is done now we're gonna go ahead and put the whole module back in the truck and plug it in it's a pretty pretty easy install guys so before you put the PCM back in the truck you wanna go ahead and take the bolts that were provided with the pulsar and get them out because you're gonna need to use these instead of the factory bolts in order for them to go all the way through the pulsar and then obviously through the PCM to bolt back up to the truck. So there's three of those with washers. We're gonna go ahead and uh, throw this back in the truck. I wanna go ahead and point something else out to you guys. The extended bolts that came with the Pulsar are now a 10 millimeter bolt instead of an eight millimeter bolt like the factory ones. So you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket to go ahead and uh, install this back onto the truck. I wanted to point something else out to you guys. There is a ground on this side here that you need to attach behind the PCM and make sure it's metal to metal. So behind the PCM and in front of the plate that the PCM mounts to. So just like that and then run the bolt through. But you do need to reattach this ground to right here. Now that that's sturdy and put back together, we want to go ahead and uh, plug back in our plugs here. And just like that, the install is complete. The plugs, make sure your uh, arms, your red arms are locked down in the lock position and you're all set. Make sure there's no gaps in between, in between the Pulsar and the PCM. And then after you're done with that, go ahead and hook up your 
negative side terminal on your battery and you'll be all set. That's uh, That completes the install. Now we're gonna go inside the truck and see what kind of options the Pulsar offers. All right, so let's go through the settings here. Um, there are eight different power levels um, that the Pulsar offers and I'll show those here. First power level is stock, second one is stock with MDS off, the third one is fuel economy, the fourth one is fuel economy with MDS off, the fifth one is tow, the sixth one is tow with MDS off and then seventh and eighth are both performance and eight is performance with MDS off So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to go through those different settings in the setup display here in the center of the dash of this 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn so stay tuned. So first thing you want to go ahead and put the start stop ignition to the run position Let's so go ahead and put it on run as you guys can see here. It's on run and then you're going to don't start the truck yet i'll try to go ahead okay so let's see if that works all right hold on one second let me adjust the camera for you guys all right hopefully that's better for you guys so go ahead and go down to screen setup press ok and then you want to hit um center press ok and then go down to audio wherever that's at right here press ok and now audio is up top okay so now that you're in the audio or you have your audio set to the center display there um, you want to go ahead and on your steering wheel control you're gonna use the set cruise control set uh, plus and minus to go through the different uh, power levels and then to set the power level you want you're gonna hit cancel so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that now I don't know if I can it, it won't focus in on the screen but I'm gonna show you guys here when you hit set see how up here it goes to performance well, it went there. So set, you're gonna hit performance, MDS off. Set again, go back to stock. Set again, stock, MDS off. And by the way, I'm hitting the set plus symbol, not the, or the set plus button, not the set minus. So go ahead and um, go through there. You got economy, you've got economy with MDS off. You've got tow mode, tow with MDS off. And then again, back to performance, and then performance MDS off. So we're gonna leave it on stock for now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel. So stock, cancel. And that's gonna go ahead and, um, again, I hit cancel. That's gonna go ahead and program the truck to the stock, uh, I guess you could say tune or stock map. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the truck back up because I haven't started it since we installed the Pulsar. So I wanna start it back up and make sure everything's good uh, before I start going through the different um, tunes as in economy, tow, or performance. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start it for the first time. Let's cross our fingers and hope it starts up. Well, she started and we don't have any check engine lights as you guys can see, so that's a good thing. And like I said, we are on the stock map or stock tune right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn the truck off since I'm in the garage. And there we have it. That was a complete install on the Pulsar by Diablo Sport for a 2019 Ram 1500 uh, Bighorn. So hope you guys uh, were able to follow along and um, you guys are able to install this on your own. Like I said, it's an easy install. Um, in the next video, I'm gonna go through and actually see if it helped performance wise, towing wise, and fuel economy wise. Um, I'm gonna do a review on it and make sure that it is worth the $500. But like I said, um, I will leave a link in the description below on where you guys can uh, get one for yourselves. But overall, this was an easy install. Another thing I wanted to point out in this video is that with the Pulsar, you can um, change your tire size so that the speedometer reads correctly to the size tire you put on the truck. So like in this case, I did go up a size or a couple sizes on a tire. So I'm going to adjust um, in the settings. I will do this in the other in the next uh, upload uh, when I do the review on the Pulsar, but you can change the tire size in the settings so that the speedometer is correct and reads correct. So I'll go over that in the next video. Also, you can change the uh, and program your axle ratio. Um, and I'll, like I said, I'll go over that as well in the next video. But I just wanted to explain that to you guys and show you that this does also come with these options. It's not just for the performance, economy, and uh, towing modes. It does give you options to adjust axle ratios and tire sizes as well. So go ahead and uh, stay tuned for the next video. I will be doing a review on this Pulsar.
I also wanted to point something out for you guys. Uh, here's the part number for this Pulsar. Now this Pulsar will only work on a 2019 Ram that does not have the um, torque or uh, e-torque motor. So this truck obviously does not have the e-torque motor. Um, if you do have an e-torque motor, um, you do need uh, a different Pulsar. This one will not work. But this is the part number for a 2019 Ram 1500 uh, without the e-torque motor. So that completes today's video, guys, on installing the Diablo Sport Pulsar on my 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and uh, comment down below. And I will try to get back to all you guys. But uh, I appreciate the support. There will be more Ram content coming. Like I said, stay tuned for the next video. I will be doing a review on this Pulsar and go through all the different... Uh, uh, settings, the performance, the towing, and the economy setting, and see if the Pulsar is actually worth the money. Uh, like I said, it was $500, and I'll leave a link in the description below on where you guys can uh, get that. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys next video. Peace.